Hello guys, this time we'll be doing a simple one-way data binding in vanilla JavaScript. Uh, for this uh, we have uh, two codes here. So we have one HTML file. Um, inside we have two spans with uh, um, two properties of data binding quote one and quote two and our db.js uh, script. Inside of this script we'll see how we can change dynamically uh, this inner HTML text inside of those uh, uh, two span elements using the so-called uh, one-way data binding. Why it's called one-way? Because we are changing programmatically uh, from the properties here in JavaScript uh, the state of the DOM element or HTML element here. Let's see how we can do this. Actually, first we have one a function called render, which accepts a property as a parameter. And uh, with uh, document query selector, we are just selecting uh, uh, those uh, elements uh, from the uh, document object model, which has uh, this property, uh, which is passed as a parameter in their uh, data binding. So if we pass quote one, we'll select the first element. If we pass quote two, we'll select the second element. And uh, based on the selection, they will change uh, their inner HTML. And uh, for this, uh, we'll use a special uh, state object. And from this object, we'll uh, grab uh, its uh, passed again as a parameter property. And now to the uh, very special uh, set st state function. Actually, we are creating a state. And for this, we are using a proxy construction so we are creating a new proxy around a state of an object what does it mean if we have a certain a property and uh, we would like to change the property and to set it to a certain value this uh, proxy object will invoke in itself and uh, will uh, perform uh, the following actions that we uh, want to supply so everything is done through this uh, a set uh, method. Uh, also, we can capture the get method and uh, uh, this way we can modify the object or display something to the screen whenever a user is uh, trying to read from our object. Basically, we do two things. Uh, the first thing is uh, actually to set the object value to the past parameter. And the second is to use the previous function here, render, in order to change the data in our document object model. Um, let's see the whole following code in action. So we can set an initial state and we can log it on the screen. If we refresh, we see that around our state we have a uh, proxy and the initial state of quote one is initial uh, quote state. All right, so when we have this initial uh, state, we can for now leave it empty. And if we refresh, we see that uh, the quote one and quote two uh, keep their initial states in the uh, document object model. Uh, but the moment we uh, change, for example, the state of quote one into a new one here programmatically, let's see what will happen. We see the one-way binding in action let's see what happened actually so the proxified object is uh, engaged and uh, actually we are inside if it's a set method uh, first we are setting uh, the property of the object to what has been passed and second uh, we are modifying via the render function the document object uh, model corresponding data binding uh, element the same can be done uh, for the uh, second uh, quote uh, state object so both of them will have a new state and this is very useful um, technique and uh, usage of the uh, proxy uh, pattern because uh, we can change dynamically um, our code via programming and uh, automatically the proxy object will uh, change those bindings inside of our HTML so we don't need all the time to uh, query certain elements and change their uh, properties. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the information and you can actually subscribe to the channel.